so this song built my life. Uh, it's a worship song that I, I think is uh, very fitting for Pastor Angie's. Uh, Worth the every song we could ever sing. Worth the every breath we could ever bring. Worth the every breath we could ever breathe. Good for you. Our pastor, 
You love our congregation by opening God's word. And then you live your life reflecting all we've heard. You care for others deeply and lift them up in prayer. And when we face misfortune, we know that you'll be there. We really love you, Pastor, for everything you do. And we thank God for giving us a pastor like you. And, you know, when this misfortune, when we had COVID, it's, it's this couple who went to our place, bring us food, bought um, medical equipment that we need, you know, during COVID, it's like, it's like hell for us. It's like, like it's time really like that. So they are there for us. And I know they will be there, not only for me, but also, also for you. Thank you. And have a good Good afternoon, everyone. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. That's a greeting in Filipino. For Pastor Angie, Ate Angie, we call her, is a very remarkable woman. I really love her warmth, your compassion, and mostly her unwavering faith in God. She is like a uh, a rescue bomb to every people in every walks of life. She's very compassionate and loving. And she is also uh, a bright spot. If you have a dark spot in your life, I really admire you for that. And um, I praise God for you, for for who you are, praising God for who she is. Thank you. As you can perhaps say, there's all symbolism to all this candles, to all this uh, gift giving, and going on forward, we still have some more. But it all have meaning to Angie, our celebrant. And now it's my turn, my dear friend. Thank you. <laughs> This is a symbol of our long friendship. You know, I see our friendship like marriage. In marriage, you quarrel. There is this unity and there is this unity and unity. But our friendship has stood the test of time. And when we are, we have differences, we just talk about plants. I have a green thumb and she has a light green thumb. So this plant, the mother plant, came from Whole Foods Market. We go to Whole Foods Market 2012. I worked with Whole Foods, by the way, for 14 years. And it has survived. And our friendship will strive to you, my dear friend. Thank you. So everyone, um, and happy birthday, Mama. I know that we already celebrated as a family, but I'm so glad that we get to do this with your friends and with the people who love you and care about you. And so I'm so grateful that um, you see these people, they attended, they took their time. So thank you so much for being here. I know that it means so much to my mom. No, she's actually taking classes in seminary. Um, and before, this is like, I don't know, two years ago, she would always ask me, Hazel, like in English, like can you read through my essays and see if they're good enough? And you know, I would, I would do it, I would read through it. But I also have to, to say, you know what, you can do this. You're, you're a big girl, you can do this. And so, <laughs> so now she, she's doing it by herself. And um, she's also, she was emailed by one of her professors saying that she's one of her, one of their best students. And so. I admire your willingness and your bravery to face things, even though sometimes you don't feel that like you're ready for it, but you still do it, and that just shows your heart of, of humility to, to learn, to try new things, to make mistakes, and to grow from them. I feel like a mom, a proud mom of her and how she has grown. Um, so my gifts for her, um, if you, can, you can open it. It's just a bunch, a bunch of school supplies. I, I am so happy to to see how how you just love people around you. 
Um, I'm so blessed to be your daughter. Um, if you don't know, something about her is that she would put coins in strangers, you know, like the parking meter, because it would run out. And if it runs out, they would get a ticket. So she, she does that. Like, I don't know, like, someone who does that, but she, or, and then sometimes she would, like, just greet people uh, as we're walking, and I would ask her, do you know that person? She's like, no. And I'm like, why do you act like you know that person? But she's just very welcoming, and that's something that um, I admire about you. And I wish that you have a long life and um, that you may see us get married. I can't promise having kids. <laughs> waiting for Ellie. Let's call on um, the prayers for our special prayers from Angie's friends. Let's start with Linda. Uh, good evening everyone. Um, I'm probably going to say a lot of the same things everyone said already because we all feel the same about Angie. But this is what I said. Okay. After meeting Angie for the first time, we became friends immediately. I'm sure your experience with her was the same because she's naturally an outgoing and friendly person. She's easy to talk to, a very good listener, and will give you the shirt right off her back. I will never forget this the time that she gave me the necklace that she was wearing one day after I told her, oh, I like that, and it matches my earrings. Our conversations are always uplifting and encouraging and always includes praying together. My friend Angie may be getting old, I mean older, <laughs> but, but she is also getting better. She's a wonderful person to have as a friend so, in closing, we share the love of Christ because we accepted the price he paid for us on the cross. We have been invited and commanded by our Lord to take up our cross and follow him. And that makes us sisters for eternity. Hi everyone. Um, so my family has known uh, Pastor Angie for many years, but more recently as uh, I've been answering the call, I'm calling on my life to be a pastor myself. Um, pastor Angie has been more of a friend, a confidant, a prayer warrior, a mentor, and a sister to me, an older sister to me. So if you would all pray with me. Our gracious loving God, Thank you for your beloved daughter, Angie. With your precious blood, you redeemed her on the cross and publicly declared your unconditional love for her and all humanity. Lord, you gave your life so Angie could find her life in you. Her life, her words, her deeds are an inspiration, always doing her best to point others to you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your work in her family and in her life, that she is so on fire for you, Jesus her source of purpose, life, and love. So may Angie fall more in love with you every day. Bless her and everyone around her, all her days. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Love you. I grew up uh, back in Philippines. I grew up witnessing Ate Angie uh, minister to churches. And we would, uh, as a youth, we would go to their house to do a Bible study. 
Um, she loves to pray too, so this time um, I'm going to pray for her. Loving God, our Heavenly Father, we gather together today to celebrate and give thanks for the life of our Pastor Andy as she reaches the remarkable milestone of her 60th birthday. Her unwavering faith has inspired us all to seek a deeper relationship with you. As we come before you in prayer, we ask for your continued blessings upon Pastor Angie. Grant her strength and endurance as she fulfills the responsibilities of her personal pastoral role. Fill her heart with your love and compassion as she ministers to the needs of your people. Lord, we pray that you would pour out your wisdom upon her, enabling her to lead with discernment and humility. May her legacy continue to inspire generations to come. We lift up this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus, our Savior and Redeemer. May Pastor Angie's 60th birthday be a joyous celebration of life, well lived, and a ministry that continues to bear fruit. In your holy name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, my message to my sister in is that um, found in Psalm 103, bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Dear God, as we celebrate the 60th birthday of my sister-in-law, I pray that she'll continue to experience your loving presence and the guidance as she faithfully and lovingly serves you, O oh Lord. Keep blessing her, O oh Lord, because experience the cross with you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
Thank you.